What's going on guys? Chase Daniel here. We got another episode and today we are going to break down Bo Nix. Bo Nix has had an unbelievable preseason. I was on the ground in practice at practice on Thursday and Friday versus the Green Bay Packers. They ended up playing on Sunday night against the Packers and he did an amazing job. The most important thing for quarterbacks is are you able to drive the ball down the field and score points? I don't care if it's a touchdown or a field goal. Bo Nix has scored on six or seven of his last eight drives in the NFL preseason. I expect him to be named starter really soon. Let's break this one down right here, right now. All right, Bo Nix. Love the way he played. They're in 22 personnel right here. He did exactly what was asked of him in the game. This is a little K4 Y banana all cross um, for a first down. All they're going to do is they're going to take the fullback in the flat. They're going to cross two of these guys. They're going to go a corner. The read is very simple. You're going to take one to the second cross. You're going to reverse out. Watch the um, running back right here cut his outside thigh board. Finds number 82. Goes through his reads really quickly. That's something that I believe... Sean Payton loves. Actually, I don't believe it. I know he loves it. Okay, a little bit of a weird throw right here with, I think that's Adam Troutman. But I thought he played really well, man. Bo Nix, the footwork, the accuracy, the arm talent. He's re he's reading for one. He sees his flat defender. You want this shallow cross to show up a little bit earlier. You have this corner route. And you have this deep crosser right here. So there's a lot going on, but it's just a sweep the board. It's a right to left read. Okay, he says no to the flat. Understands it. You got to come around a little bit faster. Put this ball on the outside shoulder. Didn't think this was a awesome throw. Still completion, you know. I, I think it's more 82 is a little bit not ready for it. But he's got to get a little bit uh more on the shoulder right there, but a good start on third and one. They ran it both times. Let's watch his footwork right here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. He's already said no to the flat. <clears throat> Just got to get over here a little bit sooner. You can sit maybe a yard or two outside the hash rather than three. Okay. Bo does a really good job. He's got a really good base on him. He's got a really good feet understands when to get rid of the football, does not throw interceptions. All of that stuff matters in a Sean Payton offense. Here's first and 10. Going to shack the back back in the backfield. Okay. He's signaling right there. That just tells me um, that this is a call it play. What's that mean for the, for the Broncos? I almost said Saints because it is the Saints offense. But for the Broncos, that means, hey, do we get a man zone read? Let's see what happens. Shack him back here. All right. I don't think it's man. So we're going to play a different coverage. He's checking, and everyone's on the same uh, direction. Let's see what he checked to right here. You see him right there, miking it away from the running back. This is probably scat protection, which is what the running back does. Let's see if it is. All this is is Hank. I love it. He knows it's single high zone. He's just going to find a completion. Hank, day one, you just go sit over the football. You got a flat. You got this hook route. And you got this hook route and a flat. It's day one football. Sean Payton loves it. It's probably in his openers at least once every other game in the first 15. You're just reading one over the ball. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fill the squeeze. Okay, what I mean fill the squeeze? It's these two guys squeezing. Okay, it's a three-plant throw to this guy right here. It's exactly what happens. He's open. You take it. But when I say you fill the squeeze, if this defender right here were to squeeze this guy, look at this hook coming open. Right there to number 11. And if this guy were to squeeze, this hook would become open as number two, but this flat defender's in it, so you'd probably end up throwing to the back in the flat. So we're talking about a full half field read where you have to react post snap. I don't think you can get it any quicker to the guy over the football. One, two, three. He's already starting to throw the ball. This is exactly what we want to do. We want to play in front of downs, or we want to play... Uh, in front of the sticks, we want to make sure we get positive yards on first down. It doesn't matter if it's um, second and nine. But second and nine is better than first and ten. You just want to make sure to get it going. All right, so you you got a hank route right there. You got the curl right here. Once again, you're reading these hook curl defenders to see where the squeeze is. 
Perfect. All right? Right on him, too. Perfect football, perfect throw. If this guy were to squeeze any harder and he didn't feel like he could take that, then you would go to Cortland Sutton right here, and because of this flat defender's there, you would take the back. This is a great read. Playing fast. That's what Sean Payton wants. He wants to play fast. Let's watch his footwork right here. Okay. One, two, three. Ball gun. Look how quickly the ball is getting out. This is what Sean Payton wants. He does not want his quarterback holding the football. All right. Next play, you got a slot formation. Two back. Green right slot nasty is the call. Fake in the naked to the left and throwing it to the to the right on this little down flat. So good. Okay, there's a little shallow cross right here. They want everything. They want a corner route. They want all these underneath guys to go this way. Okay, with this, you're selling the toss fake. Burton selling the toss fake. You've got a shallow cross right here. They can sit for a zone, and you got a deep cross. So you're just high-lowing it. If this corner pops, you can take it. If not, it's a bottom-up read. One to two. Let's see what Bo does. These are difficult because you have a really good fake to get the edge. He gets the edge a few times in this game because of his athletic ability. I love that he just takes the open guy. He could probably take this guy too. This defensive end is crashing. I thought the, the read was, was right. And in a position for number 12 to catch the football and run. Let's see from this view. You want to be able to affect all these guys going this way. Let's see what happens with it. It's exactly what they do. You don't get this guy but you get these two. So you're gonna high low with a shallow cross in and over and just high low 45. Really good ball fake by Bo under center. Okay, he has the athletic ability to get outside on the edge. Hey, no need to waste it. Let's just find a completion. Exactly what he does. See from this view right here, good play fake, get 57. Look how easily he's able to Throw that football. That's a great throw right there. Nice play. Move the sticks. Tim Patrick. Cortland Sutton. Love to see it. Next play. Oh, man. I want to see this one. I was hoping this one would be a touchdown. Look, you can even see. I'll, I'll re-show you. Watch Sean Payton right there with Bo Nix. He thinks it's a touchdown. He's actually in front of the line of scrimmage. Sean's pump for him. Davis Webb's pump for him. Little did they know that a flag was coming out. Let's see this view right here, what they're trying to do. Move the back, two by two. Okay. I like it a lot. Just old mesh, and they zone it out. This place sucks versus man. Going to go here. All right. You're going to go here to over the ball, there, and there. So you're really reading one on this wheel route to two, and then to three. You want to hit here for zone, but watch, nothing's open. Down here in the red zone is when your legs come, come alive. He's already going this way, so he goes out to his left, finds this uh, running back. Wish he would have got there a little bit sooner. Not his fault. The line of scrimmage, I believe, is right here. So he's about a half yard in front of it. And this would have been sweet. Let's see from this view. This is a really good view. So you got here 12 to 10 yards over the ball. You got shallow cross, you're on top. Shallow cross, you're on bottom. And one of these guys has a corner. You got a wheel route. Just called mesh. Everyone runs it. Love to see it. One to two to three. You want to hit here versus zone. Okay, let's see his eyes. One, two, three. He sees it already zoned off. So he's already get into the shallow cross. This is one thing I thought he could work on is he sped up a little bit in the game. So look where Cortland Sutton is. You know, he wants him to be right there. That's almost impossible. You got to take a big three right here if you know it's zone. Maybe even a big five to let the play develop. Okay, these guys aren't even over there. If anything, you're hoping these defenders take this shallow and that shallow and you hit this right here for a touchdown. That, that's not what happens. Oh, that's so sweet, though. Nice job keeping your eyes downfield. Did you do a no look? I think he did a no look. Watch his eyes after the fact. Touchdown. He knows it. Is that Davis Webb super, trying to get super excited? Sorry, I love these sideline stuff. Watch Sean right here. We see that right there. Trying to get the high five. Did we get it? Yeah. See this view? 
So my thing would be just get back there in five. If you know what zone, you shack in the halfback, meaning you're bringing it back in here. If it's a linebacker out there, you know it's man. If not, it's all good. Just get the drop going. But man, this is what we love to see. He did look away. Oh my gosh, he did look away. Watch Bo Nix after he throws the football. The ball is right here. His eyes are looking at Sean Payton. How sick is this? Even though it wasn't a touchdown. <laughs> Third and nine right here, big boy ball. Let's see what they end up doing. All right, anytime two, uh, two guys are right here on the edge of the line of scrimmage, you have a halfback and a tight end. They're probably chipping. Let's see what the play is. Looks like Green Bay's in too high defense. Tampa, easy as possible to see. Let's see what happens. No, oh, I love it. All this is is a deeper hang on third down. You want to go up to the sticks, turn around, go up here, find a soft spot between the numbers and the hash, and you're just playing the squeeze. We just talked about Hank. I'm not going to talk about this again. One, and then it's either two here or two there. If the flat defenders get depth, you want to throw your flats. Such a good job understanding. Look when he's starting to release the football. Okay, this means he understands the offense and he understands what Sean Payton wants. Just drive the ball right there before the squeeze. This will be a good view to see it. Let's see his footwork right here. Yep, go up there. It was protection, chip, chip. I love it, man. This is so, so great. Starting to throw the ball already. He's already starting to come back with the football to throw to number 12. And, I mean, look at that. He is, his eyes are around, and he's already releasing the football. You love to see it. Really good timing here before they squeeze. Love to see it. Next play. Empty. I like it. Five across. You can definitely tell that they are in too high. Oh, man, look at this. First and 20 to second and 10. This is what Bob Nix brings to the table. I think he's really athletic with what he does. I'm trying to see what this route concept is. Sorry, it's being a little glitchy. All right, so go up there, turn around. It's like a stick route. Turn around, it's a stick route. You got a, a go, outside release go, and then you got a whip route in there. So he's reading this side. Maybe he could have stuck it on him. Maybe not. He gets out of the pocket a little bit early. All right. Next level would be pump this and throw this, this whole shot right here. All right. It's two running back, though. Like what he's able to do, though, keeps his eyes down the field. He's a threat not only to run, but to throw on the run. He ends up getting a 10-yard gain. All these plays add up. You can just tell the biggest thing he's doing this game, he's just playing the offense. He's not holding the ball for sacks. He's not holding the trying to force throws. If it's not there, he's getting out of there. He's making plays with his feet. All right, he even goes and back and looks inside right there. After he looks this way, he looks back that way. Doesn't end up getting open, but a good play right here by Bo Nix to get a first, uh, well, you're first and 20. Now you're going to get the second and 10. Another view of it. One, two, three. Don't love this route. He should just go out there and turn around. 45 is going to pick it off. Okay. Looks back inside. The wrap route's not there because they're a Tampa 2 Mike linebacker. So he just says, hey, you know what? I'm going to keep my eyes down the field. I'm going to pump. Really good job. Oh, my gosh. I missed that. Cortland Sutton gets you some with a freaking pancake block on 45. Oh, my gosh. Got to love it. Got to see it. We got to put that out on Twitter or socials. I love it. Two more plays right here. This is sweet. Two tight ends. It's a slot formation. Simple day one stuff, but who can do it better? It's a dagger route at 18 to 22 yards. This is a through route. You're just carrying this defense through, and you have a shallow cross. You're going to read it high to low. This is going to be one. This is going to be two, and you're going to take a big five-step drop. I like that he's going here. You want to take the flat defender out of there. You want this hook curl to sit down on the shallow cross. And if so, you're going to have this dagger and single high zone come open, which is exactly what happens. Really nice throw right there. Love to see it. See it from the back view. 
71 protection, shallow cross with a dagger, with a wide route. It might be like a wide hybrid, okay? Let's see what happens. He understands where the read needs to go. He could probably take that, but why not when you can push the ball down the field? I was really excited to see this. Really good, I mean, this is exactly where you wanna hit a dagger. About halfway between the numbers and the hash, you don't wanna get it so far out here. You don't wanna get it so far right there. I thought this accuracy and timing of the throw was excellent as well. One more view. That's sweet. Let's see it again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, his eyes are just making sure the safety doesn't come over there. Nice throw. All right, last play. Touchdown. Really happy for that guy right there, Tim Patrick, man. All right, let's see what this play is. Bulls on parade this way. Got a corner route and just a slide route. Okay, I believe this halfback's in there as well. So you got the halfback first. Let's see, yep. Halfback needs to go and get out of the way. And then you got this slide route. This corner is dead. You want to read one to two. Exactly what he does. Look, I thought Bo Nix played a heck of a game. It was really exciting to see him. Two drives, 10 points. He scored on six out of his last seven drives in the preseason. Bo Nix is the real deal.